In Shel Silverstein's famous children's book, The Giving Tree, a boy grows up in the protective shade of an apple tree and she loves him with all her heart. Hoping for his happiness, she gives him all she has. For a young Las Vegas mom, The Giving Tree story is much more than a maternal metaphor. And then one day, the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. Come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. The little boy in this true life story is Carter Gray, born just five months ago on November 26th. He was very almost swollen, bright red, like fire engine red, and his skin was just extremely, extremely tight. From Carter's first day of life, mom, Shy, and dad, Zach, were in for a daily, intensely scary fight. He's my son and I love him to death and I just want to help him. I want the best for him. Carter was taken to the neonatal intensive care unit. The next day, mom and dad got the diagnosis, a genetic skin disorder called lamellar ichthyosis. That's basically where the skin has scaling all over it, just rough patches of really dry skin that don't go away. Ichthyosis is truly rare. According to the National Institutes of Health, it affects only one person in 100,000. Oh my goodness, I love that smile. And Contact 13 learned there are no certified pediatric dermatologists in Nevada Boo. or any specialists who can help. It's hard because nobody really knows anything about it. The family has hit almost nothing but brick walls in the medical community, so for now, the best defense has been an industrial-sized vat of coconut oil, which they apply to baby Carter eight times a day from head to toe. But the coconut oil makes such a big difference. For Carter's mom, the worry is as constant as the work. So like the apple tree in the children's story, she gives her son everything she's got. We do know that we need to continuously make sure that he is a good temperature because he can't sweat constantly checking his body for any open sores just from you know his skin stretching and peeling and making sure that he doesn't develop any infections. If he does it could be deadly for this fragile little boy but the biggest worry at this point and uh, his eyes those are those are the main priority right now. Because his skin is so tight, little Carter can't fully close his big brown eyes. He basically has what look like no eyelids. If he develops ulcers on his eyes, he could go blind. So nearly all of Carter's days are spent indoors with a humidifier running and the lights down low. Getting outside for sunshine and fresh air, meeting other kids or playing under an apple tree are things Carter cannot do. On top of all that, he failed his newborn hearing screening due to unnatural wax buildup in his ears. Through their own research and help from a holistic provider, they've put together a daily routine. I know it's hot in here. I'm going to have to turn the air down more. Doing their best to keep Carter comfortable. Two hour long oatmeal baths with coconut oil, followed by Cetaphil baby lotion from head to toe, then a light layer of aquaphor around his eyes and Gentile gel in his eyes. There you go. Until they can find more answers, they fight fear and live with questions about the future. He can move his leg, but when he moves his ankle, there's just so much tension because the skin is so tight that we don't know how it'll affect his walking when when he's older. He would climb up her trunk. While their fears are real, they have hope and faith. And like that generous arbor from the giving tree, mom and dad don't want to let Carter down. And the tree was happy. The end. Ichthyosis cannot be cured. We're working to help the family find a specialist out of state who can treat the signs and symptoms, and they may be heading to Utah soon for surgery that could help Carter close his eyes. May is Ichthyosis Awareness Month, and a national support group will be meeting right here in Las Vegas in September. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.